Thousands of San Diegans brave miles of traffic to get to their jobs along the North County's exclusive coastline. One reason, affordability house, affordable housing nearby is very hard to find or it's actually non-existent. It's one of the reasons we launched our Making It in San Diego initiative to help navigate some of these challenges. 10 News reporter John Horn has the surprising move Del Mar is about to make to bring the expensive city low-income housing. I spoke to Del Mar residents, business owners, and workers about the city's new plan to bring affordable housing. The one thing they all had in common, none of them actually thought it could happen. Well, I'm saying it is going to happen because we're going to make it happen. Del Mar Mayor Dwight Warden confident his city will finally be able to offer affordable housing. In Del Mar, the median home sells for $2.7 million. To buy enough ground to stand on costs a fortune. This is the county's smallest city, but thousands of workers commute here daily to serve residents and tourists. Some on the main drag said they come from as far away as Oceanside, La Mesa, and Rancho Penasquitos. Our firefighters, our school teachers, our lifeguards, uh, the people that cut your hair. Now, Del Mar may raise fees on new condos and condo conversions, despite increased scrutiny on fees and regulations contributing to our housing crisis. Builders now pay a flat $23,500. The city may instead charge by square foot, which could add to more than $100,000 per project, all for affordable housing. For you to build a home in Del Mar, you're over a million dollars just to buy the piece of ground. In other words, in Del Mar, it's not a make or break cost. The city could then use the money to either subsidize rent for more low income families or work to create its first physical low-income units. And if we can go and get federal and state grants and tax credits, we can have enough money where we, we will be able to do some of these programs. Warden says the city is small with little development, but is going to do all it can. John Horn, 10 News. The Del Mar City Council could vote tonight to raise those fees. It would then hold a meeting in June to decide its next steps for the affordable housing. The city is supposed to have about 70 affordable units, but right now has zero. A 